show. Today I am with one of my sweetest, dearest friends. She is from Houston, living in Atlanta, doing things across the world. I mean, this girl is amazing. She is in town for her book signing tomorrow at a loft hotel downtown. So if you are around, make sure. Ladies, you're always asking my advice. How do I make how do I go further in business? How do I find the right man? I actually have a woman with me today that's going to tell you both, okay? Welcome to the show, Velma Trahan, to the show. Thank you, Amber. What an awesome <laughs> introduction. I yes. love you. Let me give you a hug. Yes, it is so too. great to see you. Uh, you too, you too. And this past weekend, we celebrated the third annual Total Package Awards, and we were so excited to honor Velma and Christopher. They actually were the first award of this kind we actually had 20 power couples 10 bachelors 10 bachelorettes and day our amazing friend day edwards you know she actually was one of houston's top 10 most eligible bachelorettes oh go day i love you today <laughs> Me too. Love me some day. We're castmates in Becoming Houston Reality Show. We've gotten to know each other. She's taken over the city, so watch out for her too. Um, also, but you know, this weekend we're so excited to add you because we decided, you know, 20 Power Couples is great. The whole purpose of it was for the singles to get advice from the couples that are doing it, right? And I, I, you know, we've been friends for several years, and I've just, I've seen your journey, I've known the backside of it, and it's just been amazing to watch. And so this year, I decided, you know what, let's put some credit and honor where that's due. I'm all about spotlighting people that are good examples for other people, because mm -hmm. what's my mission to lower the divorce rate? So everything I touch is resolve, revolves around that, right? And so we decided this year, Velma and Christopher were our only... 2017 power couple to watch. Aww. Go girl! Thank hey. you! <laughs> Thank you, we're honored. And I'm going to speak on behalf of him. He's yes. actually out of the country and uh, we're so appreciative and thankful oh, for course. the honor. Yes, we are, absolutely. We're very thankful. Thank you so much. Girl, people need to know. Us. People need to know because, you know, it, you know, Velma was one of our top 10 most eligible bachelorettes too at one point. So she's now gone from being our 2017 power couple to watch. So we're going to talk about two separate things, uh, maybe three, because we want to talk about some business too. But first and foremost, since we're on the relationship, so tell us your journey from being one of the top ten most eligible bachelors in Houston to now having a ring the size of Texas on your finger. What's going on? Go ahead and floss a little bit for the camera. And boom! Oh, hold on, I need my shades. You know, <laughs> she's gonna blind me over here. <laughs> Uh, speak out, that's so pretty. You Thank deserve you. it, man. You deserve Thank it. Thank you. It's, it's definitely been a journey. Um, but one of the things that I've embraced, Amber, and mm -hmm. I think it is so important that, that everyone um, take this advice and, and really know, learn how to do things the right way. Right. Um, I want to I wanna touch on a scripture that I have really, really embraced. Okay. Uh, Matthew 6 and 33 is, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and everything else will be added into you, right? Amen. My grandma always and said so that. And mm so -hmm. what that means to me is I'm not going to seek a man. I'm going to seek God, right. and then everything else will fall in place. Um, another thing that I, I really, really had to uh, fine-tune is um, the book of Proverbs. Amen. The book of Proverbs talk about, you know, uh, a good woman, a woman that's worth more than rubies, right. you know, um, speaks about when a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing, right? right? Right. And so when you say findeth, it means that when he finds you, you're already who you're supposed to be or where you should be in life, right? Right. Um, and, and not all of us will, will, will be the perfect person. In fact, um, none of us are perfect, right? Right. But, but God re requires us to at least... Um, be on the road and the pathway to becoming a better person all the way around the board, right? Right. Um, and so when I started to work on Velma, mm -hmm. um, when I started to say, you know what, when the man come, I want to be the woman that I sh am supposed to be already, right? Right. So I started to, to fast. I started to pray. Um... Um, I started to go to church all, you know, a lot, right. Wednesday, Bible study, Sunday, Tuesday, wow. you know, where, 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 wherever right. there was a slot, Velma Trahan was there. <laughs> wherever there was a slot in church, I'm there because I, I was very passionate about getting to know Christ. Right. Right. 
um, I know that if I develop a relationship with God, then I can, God will show me what I need to see in a man. Amen. You know, and, and God will show me that the man that is for me, he will be for me. He will first fear God. Amen. So oftentimes we, we, we get men that don't fear God. Right. If they don't fear God, they're going to do whatever they want to do. Yeah, they don't even know him sometimes. They don't even, they, mm -hmm. they, they're just not going to care. Right. Opposed to getting a man that knows that if I do this or if I do that and it's not, in, you know, it's not, it's breaking the commandments or anything like that, then there's consequences, and right? Yes. Somebody and holds you accountable to exactly. each other. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been a journey, but I, I'm thankful um, to God. I'll say that nothing comes easy. There is a sacrifice for everything. Right. Um, so, you know, I've, I've, you know, I've been on my knees every night, you know. Um, I prayed for a good man. I've been, you know, in relationships. I've been married, you know, I'm, you know, got a divorce, right. moved to Atlanta. And, you know, and it, and it hasn't been easy, but the journey has been very inspiring for me. And every obstacle I look at as an opportunity for growth for me, yes, you know, and oftentimes it's not about what happened. It's about how you respond to the things mm -hmm. that happen, Preach. you know, That's and true. so with, with saying that I've, I've really allowed God to lead my journey, That's clean so me, mm -hmm. consecrate me, God, make my heart right. God, make me pure. God, make me an authentic woman. Yes. Like attracts like. And it's so funny you said that because that's through the, through back, you know, five years ago, I started giving advice to women. A lot of times we attract uh, people, we, broken attracts broken. You know, if you're in that, and we, we look to things, sometimes it's drugs, it's power, it's fame, it's money, it's whatever, it's your success. And people never understood the two between you can't worship God and money. You have to pick. I mean, it's true because you're all, if, you're, if you're chasing money, you're never going to have enough. You're always going to be in that vicious cycle. And God will give you all those things. But um, when I would encounter women with low self-esteem issues, I would tell them every day. It was one of the exercises. I'm like, every day for 30 days, every time you think about it, I want you to say, I am worth more than rubies. I am worth more than rubies. And a lot of it begins in the mind. A lot of it begins in what you speak over your truth. That is so true. And, and I believe, and even in my own life, I've seen where um, I've attracted someone who was nothing more, really wound up being nothing more than a mirror to reflect, you know what, you think you're so perfect, you think it's all these guys, why don't you look at you because you have the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. And so many times, that's why I really can relate to what you're saying, it's so, it's so truthful, it's so real, is you have to get real with you first. Until you get real and stop lying to yourself, because you, God, God knows all that. You ain't, you're not hiding it from nobody. But until you get real with why you're attracting other people that are not your equal, it's because you're not there yet either. Mm -hmm. And it's just always been those mirrors. So it's really exciting knowing how you believe to see that ring on your finger. Because that, you know, there's so many cynical people out here that don't believe in love anymore. They've gone through a bad divorce. They feel hopeless. They've given up. And, you know, I, as a matchmaker, I see real love. I see it all the time. I mean, there are good men. There are good women. Stop saying you don't need a man. That's like the first thing people say. And so it's like women's live has evolved relationships to where, um, you know, it was education. It was money. But now women sleep around like men. And as they say, you don't ho you don't wife the hoe, right? What, what the housewife don't you know? You don't, the hoe ain't the housewife. Uh, <laughs> excuse our uh, you know candor here, but we're just keeping it real, ladies. Because sometimes you know y'all ain't getting it in the church. So Amber Neal's gonna let y'all know you, if you want to get a husband, the rules are a little bit different, don't you think, Bella? Yeah. And then there's the commandments. One of the yes. commandments is adultery. Yes. Um, a lot of people don't take that serious at all i mean and and, and it, you notice that the ten commandments it's not a suggestion right right, right. It's they're optional. commandments <laughs> it's, it's what god commands us to do that's right um and oftentimes we want to do what our flesh wants to do mm -hmm. Betray and we every can't time. do what our flesh wants to do because every time we do it we end up not in a good position yep so i know this is going to sound crazy especially in this day and time but you cannot have sex with everyone you meet in fact you shouldn't have sex until you're married. Right. Right. Um, <clears throat> the, 
that it, it sounds crazy, but it's just the truth. There's a big movement and about that you, right now, right, too. Even a if you, I don't know, have you read um, The Weight? Make yeah. Good mm -hmm. Franklin? That's what, yeah. That was one of the books that... Um, that my fiance and I read over and over and over again. Yep. Um, another book that we read that was that was very very helpful um, by Dr. Juanita Bynum is um, it, the um, the sheets. No more sheets. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and it talks about um, how you should clean yourself. You know, people focus on sex. Right. right? And what happens is. Sex it clutters your mind, mm -hmm. and you're not really able to see this person for who they are. Amen. You know, so true. My fiance and I, we went on a 40-day fast. Um, we we fast together, and um, that allows us to see things clearly. There is power in fasting, right? Because if you and your mate is constantly getting into it, and you guys are not really seeing eye to eye, mm -hmm. then what happens is you go back to let us have sex. And then we make up, but the right. problem still is there <laughs> so because true. the root of it mm -hmm. is some things that you should not be doing in the first place. Right. So if you can go away with having sex, which is what we should do, and really, really focus on who this person is mm -hmm. internally, um, who, you know, this person's heart, what's, what's in this person's heart, exactly. what is this person's overall values, integrity, and morals, um, and things of that, that sort. You know what? What it? What does this person want to be? How is this per? How is God using this person? Mm -hmm. And so, oftentimes in relationships, God is nowhere in the relationship. And, the and people will say, you know, I believe God sent me this man. Well, if God sent you this man, then you guys should should be um, on a biblical foundation to the journey of of doing things the right way, so that you can have everlasting love. Too many people want. Um, instant gratification. Amen. So Amen. instant gratification causes us to to end things very fast. So mm -hmm. for me, I look for long term longevity. Yeah. I look for um, let me sacrifice today so that I can have a life of abundance, peace, and happiness. Right. Amen. And it don't just happen just by happenstance. Mm -hmm. It happens when you really seek God. When you do things the right way, and when you kind of tune out what's happening around you, because Everybody is doing it, you know, everybody's going to the club, everybody mm -hmm. is, you know, they going out, they drinking and and so when you drink and and it's nothing wrong with drinking, don't get me wrong. I don't personally drink, but when you drink and when you too much of anything is bad. That's right. So when you drink too much, then you're not thinking at a capacity in which you should be, right? Yeah. And then things happen. They you go out with reason. the wrong people and then mm -hmm. what happens is those people that you're sleeping with those spirits are now being inserted into you. So true. You know, sex sex is the only sin that allows spirits to get inside of you because it's happening on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. And if people really understood that, they Seriously. would they would really They'll really think twice. think twice about it. You know, so if you think about if you have nine or ten sex partners in a year, you got nine or ten different spirits inside of you that you need to rid yourself of, that you need to cleanse yourself. How do you how do you expect for God to send you the man that you want with all of these things on the inside of you? Exactly. So you have to make room for what you want. And I always say, become the person that you want to attract. That is so true. Y'all say it again, Vaughn. Become <laughs> the say person it again. that you want to attract. You gotta become the person.